Yo, good, good. I just, if y'all see y'all say, hey, what we doing, what we showing right here, it's our people. They're the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We're the, from the nation of Israel. Right, right. Everything that happened to us actually biblical. All our history is actually in the Bible. Right. Now, according to society, what would you call yourself? According to this society, black America. According to the Bible, you be from the tribe of Judah. Right. You ain't gonna find black American in the Bible. Right. You ain't gonna find, uh, uh, you know, Native Americans, Jamaican, Haitian. So if I were to ask you as a younger man, I say you, my sister, who am I according to the Bible? What would you say? You go to you go to church, right? You got yeah, I just saw it, right? But before that, what would you call yourself? You would say Black American. Yeah. Now, give me uh, Matthew fifteen twenty four. Bring it up, right? Uh, God, it's your daughters. Give me one. Oh, your daughters. How y'all doing? Hello. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Christ. Ananias. Who did he come for? Ananias. Read. Who did who did Christ come for? Come, come forth. Because when Christ came, come to save. Who did he come, come, come to save? Oh. Us? Who's the us? You don't know? Okay, that's and I like that answer. That's for the majority of the part, when you read it in, in the word in the churches, Christ came for everybody. everybody right. right? Is that right. correct? Right. Would, I, would I be able to find that actually in the Bible? You don't think so, right? They did not. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Read now, read, this is actually Christ speaking. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So where is this doctrine that Christ came for everybody? When he himself, coming out of his own mouth, he said, my father didn't set me for only to the nation of Israel. So where's the confusion? This is why as time passes on, our people have low faith in the Bible. Right. Because religion makes the Bible a, a fairy tale. Right. Because you read something, and then when you look in the world, he said, man, that's a promise, a contradiction. The Bible don't contradict itself. The only thing is it's, it's sour. Right. It goes against all our belief. So now, with that being said, Christ, that's, I'm going to stay on the uh, Christ, the top of the Christ. According to the world, what does he look like? What does Christ look like? Huh? Because according to the world, when you grow up, they show this, right? Is that in the Bible? No. It's not in the Bible, right? But our people believe that wholeheartedly. We tell people day in and day out that this is not Christ. Some of them want to fight us. I don't want to so give me that in the Revelation. How you doing, my sister? Okay, one on one. Listen to this. The book of Revelation, chapter one, verse one. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now this is the last Bible in the book. This, you don't get no more New Testament than this. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation to reveal, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. John wrote this, right? Now we're gonna to get to the main point, 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So the revelation, his hair and his head and his beard was white and woolly. You can't confuse that with this. Right. Ain't even close. That straight hair, and ain't white. It's black and brown. As white as snow. All white. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes, that's a flame of fire. Now if you see that right there, that picture right there, we're not saying that's exactly him, but it's a closer depiction, right? Now you see his eyes is red. I'm gonna ask you a question. What, what, what makes you think his eyes is red? You don't know? It's all right if you don't know. I know. You know, what, what's your guess? Blood. What you think? Blood? Blood. Nah, it ain't blood. Uh, now, I'm gonna show you, it's actually a prophecy about his first, his, 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 uh, he's kind of going with his first miracle. Do you know what his first miracle was? He changed something to something. Hey, bro, can you fly right quick? There you go. Yeah, my sister on point. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. Read it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. Remember, he drank wine. One of the, 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 the sayings that would say to him, he's a wine bibber. And he liked wine. So you know when we drink, our eyes get a little red. So that's one of the descriptions. Go back to Revelation. So I just want you to know, so when you see that his eyes are red because of what? Wine. 
The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 15. Bring it up. And his feet like a divine brass. My sister, right? I'm, I'm going to use an excellent example. You. <laughs> his feet. He has he has sandals. Because back then there was no sneakers or boots. So he had a sandal. So if I'm looking at my sister, I said, my sister's feet. And his feet is like a divine brass. Brass. What color is brass? Brown, brown. brown right? Like my sister, like y'all. Brown. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take anything and you burn it in a furnace, I don't care what it is, white rice, it's gonna turn black. Right. So it said, not so much he brown, but it looked like he was burning a furnace. So he was one of those uh, old school uh, shaft type brothers. Blue black. Yeah, that blue black. The yeah. stuff, the color that a lot of a lot of our people hate, like you right. know in Jamaica and Haitian, right. they bleach their skin. Right. Because. We believe this is the image of beauty. Right. Not knowing it's the opposite. Right. Being black is a beautiful thing. That's this right. is the important so when people say it don't matter, but they give us this. And then we have low self-esteem. Bring it out. Because when we see them, we think when we look at the movie, man, the angels are white, Moses is white, or the apostle Christ is white, God is white. What I gotta do with this thing? Right. So we don't have no connection to it. Right? So that, see, these are the type of things. These are small things that is we've been missing through all our lives. So we're trying to get our people back to it. Now give me Deuteronomy 2015. So I'm gonna show you. So this is just a few things. And the other thing is to show us who we are according to the Bible and how to get the reason that slavery happened, the reason the condition that we're in, and how to get out of it. Because it's it's pointless to give me a, a, a beautiful speech, show you what Christ looked like. But there's no solution behind it. Right. right. So give me Deuteronomy 2015. This is Moses speaking to the nation of Israel, which we are. We the nation of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, God, this is God himself. With Moses telling, through Moses, God is saying, you don't listen to me. Because remember, one of his titles said, our Heavenly Father. So that's a father to his children. You don't listen to my rules, I'm going to punish you. And he calls it curses. Right. So this is God. This is the loving God that they show on TV. They say nothing but hug and kisses. Right. This God curses right people. Now. Right. This is the condition we're in. Give me the next verse. Well, I'm going to, before, because I know eventually they want to leave. I don't keep them too long, but I want to hit some main verses. Give me 32 and uh, 68. Yes, sir. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. One of the curses is this what? It was going to get to a point that God was going to allow another nation to come and take our children. That's in the Bible to another nation. Who did it? Did that not happen, my brother? Right? That happened. That's, that's been written thousands of years. Another nation was going to come take our children. That's a curse for disobeying God. So that just didn't happen just for the for the hell of it. You know, say, oh, they just came and destroyed us. So they woke up to the floor like that. That's not true. God put them in the script. Give me 68. Our forefathers, the so-called blacks. I say so-called, we're not black. All of us is just different shades of brown, right? How did your forefathers get to the Americas? Plane? Did they swim? No, I'll, they ship. Were, ship. They were kidnapped. Yeah, but what transportation? A ship. A boat. Yeah, ship, right? You agree? Yeah. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter What's 28, that? verse yes. 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, Egypt, the first thought we're going to think of is the land Egypt, right? We're going to find out that the Egypt is actually means something else. Because the original name of that land was Mizraim. And later on, during the Greeks, they changed the name to Egypt because it signifies something. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what do Egypt signify? Out of the house of bondage. What is that? Uh, slavery. Slavery. Right. Exactly. So Egypt is synonymous with slavery. So when we go back to Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So I'm going to bring you, nation of Israel, back into slavery again. Now watch this. With ships. With ships. I'm going to bring you to slavery with ships. Because back then, when we was already in the land, there's no need to take ships. Right. We went walking uh, in. And when we got delivered, we walked out. So we don't need no ships. So what is he talking about? The transatlantic slave trade. That's right. That's in the Bible. 
What right. that proves that we the nation of Israel. Right. There ain't no book in history that's gonna show the other nations when I'm on uh, right. focus on right. fiction. If I did, show me. I haven't seen. Right. We're the only nation that went to slavery on boats, all the way from Europe, Spain, from, and there's even records of us coming from uh, Russia, India, India. Even right now, our people's being slaved over there by uh, Saudi Arabia. In right. Being so Libya. And when they came over here, guess what? Those so-called Hispanics, we was taken to different parts of Europe and all that. Right. We're the only nation that happened. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. That's what we're here for, to show that the condition that we're in because we broke our commandment. Right. So what are we here to do? Is to give our people a commandment and Lord's will, you apply and you repent. So guess what? When Christ comes, we get delivered. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth